Everybody got their phone with them tonight? It's a racial sex. Probably some of the best sex on the planet. They never look you in the eye when they say that. I'm going to make you reevaluate every decision you've ever made. Let me tell you something. Las Vegas was the most evil town I have ever been to in my life. Seriously, any other town you go to, there's a little devil and a little angel on your shoulder, you know, give me a little good advice, a little bad advice. You go to Las Vegas, there's like a devil and a devil. And they're just like battling it out the whole week. It's like, smoke some crack, get a hooker. You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a good town. Smoke some crack and get a hooker, all right. Oh look, an ATM, okay, here we go. I lost all my money, now what do I do? Get a gun, rob the casino, good idea. <laughs> look at all the lights. This is beautiful. My girl enjoyed it. I'm going out with this uh, Puerto Rican girl. My first time I've ever been in an uh, interracial relationship, man. I'll tell you something, man, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. Right, yeah, seriously, it is. Somebody done that, man? Really like broadens your horizons, you know, learn about a new person, you know, new group and all that. I'll tell you something else, man. Let me tell you something, the sex, unbelievable. I swear to God, I'm actually willing to bet that interracial sex is probably some of the best sex on the planet. You know why that is? Because with interracial sex, there's like this whole added pressure to perform. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like you're not just like humping for yourself. You know? It's like you're humping for your race. Yeah, some of you have been there, I'm telling you. You gotta represent your people. You can't do a bad job. You don't even enjoy it. It's like, oh my God, I better do a good job. Here. Like the sexual Olympics, representing Ireland, Billy Burr. How you doing? All right. Let me get stretched out here. Yeah. You can literally hear like your ancestors cheering you on in the background, like going, "Come on, laddie, give it to her for Christ's sake. Come on, laddie, get that pasty bum going. Come on. Let her know what that leprechaun's all about. Give her that pot of gold, laddie. Give her that pot of gold. We'll get you a Guinness, laddie. Come on, laddie." You know, we've been married six years, so people are like trying to force us to have kids. What you got? To have, like they like we're cheating or something. You know, hey, 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 look, you gotta have some kids, all right? Uh, y'all playing around too. You gotta have some kids. Let me tell you now, they all say the same thing. Kids, they are a lot of work, but they're worth it, all right? They're a lot of work, but they're worth it. But I noticed something. They never look you in the eye when they say that. <laughs> you know, it's always, hey, kids, they are a lot of work but they're worth it, you know. <laughs> you gotta get a kid. And I try to get my friends to hang out, the ones who have kids, they never wanna hang out with us. They're like, come on, y'all, let's go hang out. Nah, nah, you know, we can't hang out, you know. Uh, we gonna stay here with the kids tonight. Yeah, yeah, you know they a lot of work. Uh-huh, but they're worth it, we gonna. <laughs> Here with the kids. Uh, maybe next week we can go hang out or something. What? what? Oh, oh, you going on vacation next week? Well, isn't that nice? That's just nice. Where you going? Where you going? Jamaica! Woo! Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, you know, uh, we started to go last year, but uh, Bobby needed braces. Uh huh. Yeah, Bobby, smile and show them Jamaica, baby. Go ahead. See? <laughs> we right on the beach. Look at that. <laughs> You know, they a lot of work, but they're worth it, yeah. <laughs> I have nephews, they love spending time with us. They love it, because we let them do whatever they want to do. They're not our kids, we don't care. <laughs> Only thing I have to do is keep you alive, that's it. <laughs> that's it, they come visit us, man. Oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, no dinner? All right, fine, hey, ice cream all day, how about that? <laughs> I don't have to cook a damn thing. Just scoop it out, there you go. Eat up. I don't pay your dental bills, I don't care. I remember the first time they stayed with us, my sister-in-law, she calls me, it was like after midnight. She's like, did you have a hard time getting the boys to sleep? I'm like, sleep, girl? We sitting up drinking liquor playing Nintendo. <laughs> They're not my kids. Everybody got their phone with them tonight? Yeah. Bring the cell phone out? Some people love their phone, don't they? Go to a restaurant, they'll take it out of their pocket, like it's a date. It's my phone!
Technology, that's the way we communicate. It's changing things. I just got dumped recently. <laughs> on email. <laughs> when we first started dating, the emails were cute. Couldn't wait to put the computer on. Subject heading was always friendly. Huh? And, hey, baby. Thinking of you, dot, dot, dot. Because women, you take your time with the email. I would open up her email. Every other word was a different color. You get the dump email? It's a different story. Subject heading? None. <laughs> I got the take care at the end. <laughs> take care? That's something you tell the cabbie after the fair, right? Take care, buddy. I'll see you. Take care. <laughs> I didn't give six weeks <laughs> of my life for take care. I think the most noble job in the world would have to be a member of the Secret Service. That's your job. Take a bullet for your boss. That's pretty intense, especially with this president. Like, you know they're waking up in the morning going, what did he say? <laughs> I'm not going in today. Uh -uh. No. I would like to think that I possess the characteristics to be a member of the Secret Service. I'm just scared that on the application, question one is, are you a coward? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, okay, you have to work at Cold Stone. Uh, ah, well then, dollar, dollar, tip, dollar, dollar, tip. Tip, tip, hooray. I can't wait to get the forearms. Ice cream's not light. Are you aware of Cold Stone? Do you know that if you tip them, they sing? They have five different songs. I know this because I walked in there with a wad of cash and I made it rain. <laughs> oh, sing. I'm gonna make you reevaluate every decision you've ever made. <laughs> this is the most generous jerk ever. <laughs> tip, tip, hooray. With enthusiasm, <laughs> knuckle, that's a dollar. <laughs> I want my experience. <laughs>